Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to get started with Loaf Wallet. I'm going to show you how to download it and install it on your phone and then fund it really quickly. So let's get going. So Loaf Wallet is uh, an iOS and Android app that you can use to uh, send and receive Litecoin. And it's really easy to use. So I thought I would do a quick video on just showing you how to download and install Loaf Wallet and then fund it very quickly. So you'll be good to go. So the first thing you'll want to do is uh, you'll check out Loaf Wallet here. I have an iPhone, so I'm going to show you how to download and install the iPhone version. But there's also an Android version. Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do is uh, head over to the App Store. Launch that guy. And just do a search for uh, Loaf Wallet. Alright, pretty straightforward. And uh, this is the one that we want. We want the... Uh, with the uh, little Litecoin logo. Now Loaf Wallet is a Litecoin only wallet. Very simple to use. Alright, so I'm going to click here. Alright. And it's going to install onto my phone. Alrighty, so I'm just going to open that guy up. Okay, so I'm going to create a new wallet. I'm just going to tap create new wallet here. I'm going to create a pin. And re-enter that. All right, my pin has been set. Uh, always make sure that you uh, keep track of your pins and passwords. However, you got to do it. You know, in this case, I might want to just write it down on a piece of paper or store it in a text file on an encrypted flash drive. Uh, however, you want to do it. Please just don't lose these things because. Uh, Cryptocurrency is serious business, and you need to keep track of your pins and passwords. Okay, so your paper key is the only way to restore your low wallet if your phone is lost or stolen, broken or upgraded. We'll show you a list of words to write down on a piece of paper and keep safe. Okay, so we've got our pin, and we're going to have our paper key here. So uh, we'll tap this and they're gonna start you off with uh, one of 12 words which we're gonna want to write down okay so uh, after you've written down your 12 words on a piece of paper you'll also want to probably write uh, loaf paper wallet key at the top so you will know what it is. Uh, if you're anything like me, I open lots of wallets and I write down uh, seed phrases and sometimes I come across one on a piece of paper just with no information about what it is. So uh, write down the seed phrase on the piece of paper and then write on the top that it's for your loaf wallet. All right, so it won't get confused. All right, and then uh, we're at the confirmation uh, phrase phase now. You'll want to look at the words that you wrote down and recreate them here. All right, and then uh, after you've written those two words they requested, we hit submit, and they confirm that you have uh, written down this seed phrase. I cannot stress how important this seed phrase is. Things happen, you know, phones get lost, wiped, uh, damaged, whatever the case may be. Uh, new phones come out every year, you want to upgrade your phone, you need this seed phrase. All right, so now that we've got the Loaf Wallet downloaded and active, let's put some Litecoin in there. So we're going to head over here to uh, Coinbase. Okay, we're going to log into our account. I have two-factor authentication. 
and verify. All right. All right, now that I'm on Coinbase, what I'm going to do is buy a little Litecoin. So we go over here to buy sell, and I'm going to go to Litecoin. Now, uh, when I buy Litecoin on Coinbase, I like to buy it with my debit card because the transaction goes through right away. And I'm not planning on buying a huge amount of uh, Litecoin. So uh, I'm going to go over here from a bank account to debit. You want to make sure you use debit uh, so that the transaction will go through right away. All right, so uh, once we've chosen debit, we'll go down here and I'm just going to buy $25 worth of Litecoin today. Just an example, you probably want to buy a little more than that, you know, maybe 100, 200, whatever you can afford. Uh, so uh, we put in the amount and we go down here to buy instantly. I'm going to click that button there and then I'm going to confirm that and you'll notice that the Litecoin shows up in my account immediately okay so there it is it took it a minute uh, less than a minute actually uh, I guess because today's Saturday whatever but uh, if I had used the bank option it would have taken a day or two so I always use the debit card option uh, if you want that uh, Litecoin right away Alright, so here we go. Now I've got the Litecoin in my wallet. So what am I going to do? I'm going to send some Litecoin. Alright, I want to send some Litecoin over to my loaf wallet. So they want an address. They want a recipient. So, uh, hmm, how am I going to do this? Alright, so um, I want to receive some Litecoin. Right? So uh, there it is. And what am I going to do? I think maybe what I'll do is uh, share that in an email with myself. All right? Make uh, because I'm going from phone to computer in this case. Right? So I'll email myself the request. All right? And then I'm just going to click send there. Uh, I'll just call it request. If I could spell request, life would be much better for me. All right. So I'll hit send. All right. So uh, the reason I'm doing this is to avoid having to type in that huge address, right? And there we go. All right. So now I've got the uh, receiving address of the loaf wallet in a form that I can copy and paste into my Coinbase. So I'm going to paste that into my Coinbase, and that's the address that I want to send the Litecoin to, right? I'm going to send it all, right? I'm just going to click Send Max because I just put in some Litecoin into the account you can send however many you want like let's say you've got a lot of Litecoin in your coinbase you can just type in three or two here but I'm gonna go ahead and send the max that uh, small amount of Litecoin that I bought you'll notice it's not 25 anymore because I was charged a little fee when I bought it right uh, let's let's do two loaf wallet all right all right, and I'm ready to go here. I'm going to hit continue, and I got to confirm. Now, uh, I need to put in my uh, Google Authenticator code. Uh, my Google Authenticator code is uh, required whenever I send money out of my Coinbase account. And then I'll click confirm. All right, it's on the way. So let's uh, switch over to our loaf wallet and see how long holy moly there it is so uh, the Litecoin uh, came in right away that's one of the nice things about Litecoin it's very fast okay so I and uh, in sending it over from coinbase I did incur uh, a little bit of the fees on the Litecoin network but uh, I'm okay with that it's not uh, too bad I got twenty three dollars and thirty one cents worth of Litecoin in my loaf wallet now so I am ready. Now you'll see there the progress says 40%, which means that it has to be uh, confirmed on the Litecoin blockchain. And that's just how uh, Litecoin works. So don't panic when you see this. It just means that you don't, uh, you're not able to spend it yet. It doesn't mean that you don't have it. Uh, once you see that confirmation that uh, the transaction has come in, and uh, you know from an address you'll know that you've got it you just need to wait a while before you can spend it 
So that's it. Uh, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Real easy to uh, fund a loaf wallet. Uh, real easy to download and install the loaf wallet. Very simple to fund from Coinbase. There are more complicated ways to do this that might save you a little bit on fees, but uh, the Litecoin network, uh, the fees are very low. So even sending directly out from Coinbase is fast and cheap. So uh, I challenge you to try this out. Throw some Litecoin into a loaf wallet, and then if you owe somebody some money, uh, just tell them, hey, why don't you uh, pull out your phone and download Loaf Wallet and I'll pay you in Litecoin and see what happens. They, it might pique their interest in cryptocurrency. And then uh, once they get a little Litecoin, explain to them how they could buy more if they want. And then maybe at some point in the future, they'll owe you some money and they can send you Litecoin back. So uh, I hope that you enjoy it. There we go. We're uh, ready to go. Isn't that cool? So quick, easy, loaf wallet. Uh, I, I encourage you to try it out, and I challenge you to send some Litecoin to someone that you owe money to. See what happens. Once again, isn't that great? Okay, just as an aside, I discovered that there is a way to connect directly to your Coinbase account uh, in loaf wallet. So, uh, you just tap the menu down here at the bottom and go over here to buy Litecoin. And uh, you can buy uh, Litecoin with Coinbase. We'll just uh, tap that little button there. All right, well, I'm game. Works. Okay, so uh, I'll enter my Coinbase password. I'm, I'd be interested to see how this works because uh, See, I've got my uh, Coinbase uh, password set up here. So I can just uh, flip back over here and paste that guy in. And continue. And then it wants that two-step verification. So I'll just swing back over to my Google Authenticator uh, to my Coinbase. I can just copy that puppy in, slide back over here, and just paste that boy right in there. And then hit continue. And then uh, I've got a uh, confirmation here. So I'm going to confirm that I'm using this new device. Boom. Oh boy, this is a little tricky, but we'll see what happens here. They're probably going to want to sign, me, uh, sign in again. Let's log in. Password. I'll copy that. Now let's swing back over here where it's asking me to sign into my Coinbase account. And I'm going to paste that in. All right, I'll sign in. And then they want my two step verification. It's probably easier the way I showed it to you, right? And Coinbase two, two step verification. I'm going to copy that into my clipboard. Scroll back over here, paste that guy in. Okay. Let's go back over here to Loaf Wallet and see if I got that. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right. There's that payment method, uh, the debit card that's uh, connected to my Coinbase account. I'm going to hit continue there. And there it is. It's it's costing me a dollar to buy that. <laughs> okay. All right. I'll, I'll, I'm game. I'm just going to do that just for demonstration purposes. Boom, there we go. There we go. I got an alert from Coinbase telling me that I just purchased uh, some Litecoin. All right, Let's scroll back over here. All right, and I guess I'm done. So before I sign off, I would like to let you know that uh, I have a live Q&A every Friday night at 6 p.m. Uh, the live Q&A from LA. Uh, I invite you all to join me and I hope to see you there. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. If uh, you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. Uh, when you subscribe, there's a little bell that uh, you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post a new video. Once again, thanks for joining me and I hope to see you again.